Another one bites the dust. Just when it seemed that Rishi Sunak was making headway, he appears to be taking two steps back. In allowing Dominic Raab to resign in what looks to me like an attack by a load of woke civil servants hell-bent on his removal, Rishi has shown himself to be weak. Yesterday, Deputy Prime Minister Dominic Raab hung up his ministerial boots to languish on the back benches. Why? Because a group of civil servants claimed that he's a bully. The criticisms against him ranged from one person not being named when he praised them all for doing a good job, to saying a civil servant to a civil servant, there's no point sulking about it. Have a listen to some of the allegations against him. Some officials who had to work with Dominic Raab were offered therapy. Behaviour was described as nasty, horrible and manipulative. I saw him seething at other senior people, you know, hard staring at you, cold fury. It was pretty sinister and raising his voice. Lots of it was what I'd describe as microaggressions. We've had reports of civil servants bursting into tears before and after meetings, civil servants actually being physically sick because of the fear. Allegations about civil servants being too scared to go into his, his office. It's even the rather notorious claim that he once got so angry in a meeting that he threw a tomato from a pret salad at someone. Now, for goodness, do your research. That's just not true. He talked about that later on. In fact, the person who claimed that got in trouble. Apparently, one of the complaints was that Dominic wanted questions to be answered directly and in a straightforward manner, and that he interrupted the answers when people went around the houses. Well, if he's guilty, then so am I. I can't stand it when people waffle on about nothing, evading actually answering the question or going on a tangent. They claimed his criticism was unconstructive because he interrupted them. Does that sound like high-level bullying to you? Sounds like a pretty low bar to me. And given that some of the allegations against him happened about two and a half to over four years ago, which would be dis dismissed in an employment tribunal for being too old, and that they were all brought against him on the same day, it would be fair to say that there appears to be a level of collusion given the coordinated nature of the filing of the complaints. In an interview with GB News with our very own Olivia Utley, Dominic said this about the process. Look, I think uh, the process and the system of, of dealing with these complaints was there when he arrived. There was obviously no independent ethics advisor. And I think, it, you know, people would have been very uh, surprised if the reform, first reform he did as he came into government was something along those lines. It would have, uh, I don't think that would have sent the right message. And he had to deal with the rules and the process that were in place. I mean, why would anyone take the crud that was coming out of those civil servants' mouths seriously? Sounds more like people who have hurty feelings because their poor or inadequate work was pulled up and were now out to get him. He called them activist civil servants. Most countries would die for public servants that we've got uh, or a democracy the way that we've got. But there has been a subtle sh shift over time and you are seeing more, uh, as I put it, activist civil servants. If you've called for an independent process, which I did, uh, and I've been very clear if there was a finding, an adverse finding against me, I resigned, I'm not going to then complain about the referee. Um, what I'm just doing is structurally, and I think it's acknowledged by the Prime Minister today, pointing out that the system is flawed. I mean, seriously, he said the system is flawed. I mean, I feel sorry for him, frankly. Thank you very much. Just one final question. Did you throw the tomatoes? Yes, so did he throw the tomatoes? Well, I think we've addressed that. Rob going on in this manner. I mean, seriously, it is quite dangerous, isn't it? This sort of precedent that's been set, unelected activist civil servants can knock on a cabinet minister's door with this crud and oust them from a perfectly decent post. Perhaps they don't like the policies, and worse still, this may have serious implications for the government being able to press ahead with ideas like stopping the boats. I mean, this could mean that activist elements of the civil service led by unions could make concerted efforts to bring down government ministers because they disagreed with the government's ideology. I mean, can you imagine... This question being asked about the tomatoes, it was ridiculous. We are all in trouble if this is, if it is this easy to get rid of our elected politicians.